Bethany Frankel revealed she was a victim of assault in the streets of NYC. After multiple women have come forward on TikTok recounting being randomly punched in the face in the Big Apple, the Real Housewives of New York City alum left a comment sharing a similar incident that happened to her not too long ago. This is insane because this happened to me a few months ago, but I was embarrassed to say. I was on the UWS. I was taking video of a bakery, she wrote alongside a video, where a creator compiled a series of clips from women recounting their stories along with the caption, at least seven girls in NYC have been sucker punched in 48 hours. Though not all the women have the exact same story, many of them attest to being on their phone during the time of the attacks. Additionally, most of the assaults were claimed to have taken place in the Chelsea neighborhood of NYC. In response to Frankel's remark, fans urged her to come forward with her story. You shouldn't be embarrassed. One user penned while another added, we need women to speak up. Meanwhile, some of the reality TV stars haters allege Frankel, who has had an ongoing feud with Bravo, only involved herself with these incidents for attention. Just making things up to be mad about, eh? Someone wrote, as another troll said, shut up, no it didn't. In 2023, Frankel repeatedly threatened Bravo with lawsuits regarding their treatment of reality TV stars, however, in October, she clarified she would not be suing the network. After months of claiming she would be going after the channel, which she formally starred on, through legal action, she released a statement saying she hopes to enact systematic change at Bravo, though she will do it through other avenues. To be successful in reality TV, you must kill or be killed. To not get dirty is to get fired. Someone is winning and someone is losing in this zero-sum game where people like myself get rich and the less strategic go broke or get cancelled, she wrote. My one-liners and quick wit, crafted and honed from a dysfunctional childhood, often at others' expense, shot me through the ranks of this toxic cesspool. This medium preys on and profits from the emotionally flawed and damaged, she added. Should it create a society at large glorifying women trashing each other for profit? I wanted to be something and helped create this genre paving a road for those behind me," Frankel continued. She concluded, the reality reckoning is true, real, and I'll lead by example and evolve for myself and for my daughter. This is not only a reckoning within an industry but one within myself.